extra time. And Kuldeep. Um, well, obviously, both you know, world-class bowlers uh, in their own right. Boomerah um, coming in, who can crank it up to 150k, is is always going to be pretty tough. Um, and uh, his accuracy in this series, I think, has been very impressive. Um, hasn't missed his mark too much, and has been able to swing it uh, both ways as well, which has been quite impressive, even you know, with that action. Um, which also, you know, adds to the fact of how hard he is to pick up. Uh, cool Deep was uh, has been obviously very impressive as well. Um, he was very accurate, hard to get on top of um, with the pace that he bowled. Uh, it was hard to get down to the wicket um, and be able to force it through the field. So, you know, he was he was accurate. He was using the foot marks well um, and, uh, and giving it a good spin. Um. Uh, Peter, just a little bit more about Kuldeep. You faced him uh, on his debut like last year in India, two years ago in India. He's played a lot of one-day cricket, gained a lot of confidence. Was he a different bowler today or over the last two days as compared to then? Like, is there anything that's... Like... I think, if anything, he's just gotten more consistent um, and, that, and that comes, obviously, with playing uh, more and more international cricket. So he's, he's come to set up, uh, obviously, with some skill and, and now he's starting to really, really hone his skill and, and bowl very, very well. Uh, Pete, um, the Hawkeye showed you were making contact with the ball about half a metre further up the strip in this test match compared to the previous one that you played. Can you just talk us through the, the process of making that kind of adjustment and your thinking behind it? Um, yeah, it's just uh, just a different place to, to stand on the wicket. Obviously, I'd, I mean, it was quite obvious to see that I'd, I'd moved out of my crease a little bit further or, or moved um, to the crease, I guess, from where I was. Um, and that's just something that uh, I've been working a little bit with JL and, and Hickey, um, just trying to access my front foot a little bit more. Obviously, um, you know, with a bit of reverse swing as well, I need to be able to to, to move both forward and back um, and well. So that's just a couple of things that we've we've tried, and uh, it felt it felt pretty good this game. Um, but you know, it's still a work in progress, and whether I continue to do that or not. Um, We'll, we'll wait and see, obviously, with some more, more practice. Is that sort of a hard adjustment to make mid-series as well, just the, you know, the, the literal technical way of setting up differently? Yeah, yeah, it is. But, um, you know, I've always got to look to improve. Uh, you know, guys change their, change their game, um, you know, all the time. And, and, and I needed to, you know, I need to, to look to improve and, and look to be able to score runs and, and stay out there. So uh, this is something that, you know, we've come up with, uh, and you know, hopefully it, it can work. Or you know, if it doesn't, well then we'll try something else. Uh, Pete, in a greater context than just this series, how important is it to get a draw tomorrow? Yeah, huge, huge for us to to push for the draw. We've we've obviously got a really, really good chance um, to to shift some momentum back into our camp. Um, not just for the one day is coming up, but also you know, there's there's the World Cup and there's the Ashes. So. This, this movement can really start tomorrow um, and we know that, we know that as a batting group that we can really take some confidence out of tomorrow if we can last this day and, and show, that, uh, or show the country, show the world that you know, we're not far off clicking and, and being uh, a really, really good team. You know, Australia followed on after a while and I think since after last time they followed on in Australia was in 18, 1988. How disappointing is it to you know, come to terms with the fact that as a batting group you have let down the expectations of your countrymen and generally the cricket fraternity. Oh, yeah, obviously it hurts, mate. Um, yeah, I mean, you never, you never want to follow on in any, in any test match uh, for obvious reasons. But, you know, we're just going out tomorrow. We'll be, we'll be drawing this game tomorrow. Um, and then we'll go over the game then and, and assess where we need to improve and, and get better as a team. Uh, Pete, there's been a bit of talk around the country at the moment about selectors and selections and the communication towards players of those decisions. I mean, what, what, how would you describe the feedback that you've had from selectors in the last, I suppose, the last year? I mean, we've seen you come in and out of the side quite a bit. Yeah, all uh, all open and honest conversations, um, which is which has actually been really good. Um, I've been able to. to to push my case with them, um, 
with you know with some really really good conversations and, and they they tell me where I stand um, whether you know how they want me what I need to improve or, or how they see me in the in the test side and uh, no it's, it's actually been really good the communication's been great um, Pete just following up on what you said before about you know what you can get out of tomorrow with a draw um, what about if a you know young batsman in the side was to get a hundred tomorrow it hasn't happened this series and I mean obviously for the for the player who does it, but also for the rest of the group, it, would that be a significant um, thing for the team? Yeah, 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 it'd be really nice. I mean, you, you touched on, we haven't scored 100 this series, which is obviously a, a big thing, but yeah, if someone can come out tomorrow and, and score 100, that'd be great. Um, or even, you know, face 200 or, or 300 balls in a, um, in a test match saving knock can also uh, give us a lot of confidence going forward. So, you know, there Whoever that is tomorrow, um, it will give themselves a lot of confidence and it will give the group a lot of confidence moving forward as well. Pete, there was just a um, moment today with Nathan Lyons, LBW, um, which was focused on a bit on the TV coverage uh, where it looked like it may have actually not been out. And it's happened a couple of times this summer, a couple of times in the one days as well, I think, where you guys haven't referred ones that you probably would have got away with. Is that at all part of... The mindset of, of where the team's at at the moment is it a sign of any kind of lack of confidence or anything? No, like that? no, 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 no. That's no, DRS is is random with stuff like that. Sometimes, like you ask Gaza, it, it he thinks he hit it on the on the full or middle toe uh, or his big toe. There's not often uh, anyone in the world thinks that they're going to review that. So no, he he walked off no doubt thinking that he was out, so why, you know, it's, it's, that's fine, that's his decision and, and we, we back that in completely. Same with, um, with any DRS uh, reviews out there, we, we back Payton in 100%. Um, there's a lot of confidence behind him. Uh, Pete, the India bowling coaches in here before saying their plan before the series was to take the cut and pull shot away from Australia's batters. Did you feel like they've done that well? as a group, and what have they done so well as a bowling attack that's made it so difficult to score runs? Yeah, I've had one cut shot uh, this series and I hit it straight to second slip, so and, well, maybe they need to bowl more and I might, might keep going. Um, but no, they've, they, haven't, they haven't missed their mark. Um, you know, you talk about bowling plans for as long as you want, but you know, they've, they've executed top of off odd bouncer, which is test cricket, and they've just kept repeating and repeating and repeating. So. Uh, credit to them, that's, um, that's been very impressive. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.